Leading local in our top story, police in Bismarck arrested three people this week after a call for a stolen vehicle. But that started when one man says he was just visiting his mother, which would lead to a chaotic 48 hours for officers, which included a foot chase and a lengthy standoff. I went to my mom's house to meet the plumber and there's no place to park, so I parked my four-wheeler in her yard. For Randy Higgins, what was supposed to be a visit to his mother's house in Bismarck turned into a real mess. I should have pulled the keys out of it, but I didn't think I'd have to worry if it was in her yard. In the time he was inside, Higgins says someone hopped into the driver's seat of his Honda UTV and took off. They must have took it to a house close to my mom's house and they tore the side panels off of it, ripped the stereo out of it, and yeah, pretty much wrecked it. Higgins says he then called his neighbor, Darren Berger, for a ride. But Berger didn't know at the time he was about to be roped into a police pursuit. I was all the way down where you turn to go up to frame barracks, and I saw this camouflage UTV coming right at me, which I've seen a hundred times when I've seen Randy driving it. Berger then called dispatch, easily recognizing Higgins' UTV by the hard-to-miss Trump license plate. Because I said, I'm following a stolen UTV. We're going north on River Road. And he said, well, how do you know it's stolen? And I said, because I was just on my way into town to pick up my friend who just had it stolen from him. <laughs> Berger says the thieves soon got wise they were being followed as he says they took a sharp right turn into the hilltop walking path off River Road. So I parked my big pickup sideways right by the gate so that nobody could get in or out um, until the first police officer arrived. Bismarck police say three people were riding in the stolen UTV before they ditched it at the top of the hill near Chief's Looking Village. That's when police say they took off running and officers chased two of the people down the steep hill before arresting two of them near Pioneer Park. Then I find out later that night that the two that they caught really weren't the ones that stole it. Some other guy stole it and must have gave it to them after that. Higgins also didn't know at the time, but police were looking for Daryl White Lightning. He would later be arrested, hiding out in a home along Summit Boulevard in Bismarck. I just got a quick estimate for the police, but I got to take it back over again, but it's way over 10 grand. Higgins has his Honda back. Here, like here, where they tore the stereo out. He's also been busy on the phone with police and with his insurance agent. He admits he owes his friend Berger a favor, but both men agree downtown Bismarck is becoming less safe. And so the, and the crime that's, that's going on in downtown Bismarck just seems to be only increasing, unfortunately. It's, it's certainly noticeable if you spend any time in that downtown area. In Bismarck, Higgins says he is especially thankful for the quick work of Bismarck police officers Darren Heiner, Jesse Hellman, and Anthony Versfeld, who helped with the investigation.